Indian Coin View Presents Coins from Indian Princely States Part 7, Wandabu, Kutch Princely State, 1942 History of Kutch Kutch, historically known as Kingdom of Kutch, was a kingdom in northwest region of India from 1147 to 1819 and a princely state under British rule from 1819 to 1947. Its territories covered the present-day Kutch region of Gujarat north of the Gulf of Kutch. Bordered by Sindh in the north, Kutch state was one of the few princely states with a coastline. Kutch was ruled by the Jadeja Rajput dynasty of the Sama tribe. Lako Jadani, whose origin can be traced from Egypt, is regarded as forefather of rulers of Kutch. He was adopted by his uncle, Jam Jada, who was the ruler of Nagarthata Sindh. However, later a natural heir was born to Jam Jada, named Gao. After the death of Jam Jada, Gao forced Lako to leave Sindh. With his twin brother, Lakiha, Lako ventured into Kutch and slowly captured the territories in control of Chavtas. Khan Gaji I is noted as the founder of Kutch state. He has united eastern, central and western Kutch into one dominion, which before him, was ruled partially by other Rajput tribes apart from the Jadejas. Kongarji I was given fiefdom of Morbi and an army by Sultan Mahmud Bagada of Ahmedabad, whose life he had saved from a lion. Kongarji waged a war for several years till he re-conquered Kutch from Jamrawal and integrated Kutch into one large dominion in 1549. Kongarji I was crowned at Rapa but later shifted his capital from Tabuj, a city established by his father Rao Hamurji in 1510 and Buj became the capital of Kutch. Kongarji also founded the port city of Mandavi. Buj was later fortified by Bujia Fort under the reign of Rao Godaji. The major work and completion of fort was done during the rule of his son, Mahara Odishaji I. In 1719 during reign of Dishaji I, Sher Buland Khan, who was Mughal Viceroy of Gujarat invaded Kutch. The army of Kutch was in a precarious condition, when a group of Nadabar was joined them and Mughal army was defeated. During the rule of Rao Godaji II, the Jadeja dynasty faced its biggest defeat at hands of Miyan Ghulam Shah Kalhoro of Sindh. Godaji had to make a truce with him after losing several territories. Later in 1770, a daughter of his cousin Wesuji was married to the Miyan Kalhoro and the marriage was celebrated with great pomp and splendor on both the sides. In consideration of this relationship, the towns of Bustabunda and Lake Ptbunda and others territories that had been conquered by the Mayan Kalhoro, were returned to the Rao of Kutch. His successor, Rao Rayadan III became a religious fanatic and began forcibly converting all its pupils to Islam. At that time Rao Raiden was curtailed when in 1785, Anjas Megji Seth Lever revolt and the chief of armies Jamadar Dosalvan and Jamadar Fatah Muhammad also joined him showing their pure integrity and loyalty to secularism were responsible for this bloodless coup. Rao Raiden was put under house arrest and the kingdom was ruled under a council of the Twelve Brothers. Kutch became a democracy for several decades with king acting only as a titular head. It was ruled by a council of twelve brothers, which was a congregation of power. It consisted of three members of the brothers from Jadeja Rulas family, three Mahajans, who were the rich and influential moneylender or businessmen from Hindu and Jain communities, three members from Muslim community, one member from Miana community, one member of Gara Sadar and one member of the army. Jamada Fatah Muhammad was made ruler by these council known as Barpayat Nijamat, who ably ruled Kutch from 1786 to 1813. After his death Rao Raiden was again made a king by the council for a month but was replaced by Hossein Miyan, as Rao had still not changed his ways. Hossein Miyan ruled from 1813 to 1814 and later Parmalji II, eldest son of Rao Raiden was made ruler in 1814 by Barpayat Nijamat keeping the army under control of Hossein Miyan. On the 15th of December 1815, the army of Kingdom of Kutch was defeated near Bada's War, Kutch, by the combined armies of British and Gaekwabs of Baroda State. This led to negotiations between rulers of Kutch and British. The Jadeja rulers of Kutch accepted the suzerainty of British in 1819 and Captain James Mekmado was posted as British political resident stationed at Buj. 
The Anja district, however, remained under direct occupation of British forces for seven years till 25 December 1822, when it was territory reverted to princely state of Kutch by way of agreement. During latter half of the 19th century and first half of the 20th century state progressed under leadership of Prag Malji II and his successor Kongaji III. The educational, judiciary and administrative reforms, which were started by Pragmalji II, were carried further by Kongaji III, who also laid foundation of Kutch State Railway, Candlaport and many schools. Kongaji III was the longest ruling king of Kutch. Kongaji also served as aide-de-camp to Queen Victoria for some years. Kongaji III was succeeded by his son Vijayaraji in 1942, who ruled for few years till India became independent. During reign of Vijayaraji the Kachai court was instituted, village councils were elected and irrigation facilities were expanded greatly and agricultural development in the state during short span of six years of his rule. He took keen interest in irrigation matter and it was during his reign the famous VJ Cigar Reservoir was built together with another 22 dams in six years. Also in his reign Kutch became the third princely state after Hyderabad and Travancore to start its own bus transport services beginning in year 1945. Currently it is a part of state of Gujarat in northwestern part of India. In present time also Kutch is one of the favorite tourist destination for its natural beauty created by salt platers and architectural beauty created by its rulers. Wonderboo, 1942. This Wonderboo was a standard circulation coin issued under rule of Vijayaraji when King George VI was the Emperor of British India. Kauri was the currency of Kutch and Abu was won by eighth part of a Kauri. The coin was in circulation between 1942 to 1947 or 1999 to 2004 in Vikram Samvat calendar. The coin is made of copper and has a plain edge. It was in round shape with a hole in center. The coin weighed around 6.71 grams, has a diameter of 23.3 mm and thickness of 2.3 mm. In the obverse of the coin there is a wreath around the center hole inside a plain circle. Outside that, in Urdu it is written George VI, Kaiser Hind, Zarb, Buj 1943, which means George VI, Emperor of India, struck in Buj, 1943. In reverse, on the top of center hole, there is a crescent moon. There is a vertical trident on left side of the hole and vertical dagger on right side. The value of the coin, Tabu, is written below the hole in Divnagari. On the outer line, Maharaj Shri Vijayaraj G, Kutch and date according to Vikram Samvat calendar 1999 is written in Divnagari script. As per market rates of June 2020, this coin is having a value between Indian rupees 400 to 1000 in normal conditions. It may go higher depending on condition. If you find this video helpful in some way, like the video. Also do subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon so that you will not be missing any videos on coins and currencies. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.